Hi guys, Dr. Navid Shah here, board certified pulmonologist with the Home Rehab Network. Uh, in this multi-part video series, uh, I'll be discussing DNR, do not resuscitate, why it's important and everything you need to know. But first, please subscribe to this uh, channel and uh, click the like button uh, so we can get more uh, content out uh, to, uh, to everyone just like this. Um, today I'll be talking about do not resuscitate. I'm talking about it at, uh, from Maryland, um, so states may be different. Again, uh, take this uh, more as, as a learning. Um, talk to your doctor for more specifics uh, about this, uh, this whole um, uh, subject matter. Um, so do not resuscitate. Now, uh, as a doctor in Maryland, I can tell you that it's not just one-sided, meaning it's not just one level. There are uh, several levels here. Uh, there are what's called a uh, advanced directive. Then in Maryland, uh, there's a uh, MOLST form, uh, which stands for Maryland Medical Orders for Life-Sustaining Treatment. Uh, so the, uh, the, the MOLST form um, is, is often filled out uh, when someone goes into the hospital. The um, advanced directives uh, can be done through a lawyer. Um, and then another part of that is uh, power attorney. So let's say you can't make decisions, you would assign a power attorney. And I'll get to that uh, a little bit later. So DNR in Maryland, um, and again, different in different states, uh, there is a DNR A1, there's a DNR A2, and then there's a DNR B. Now, according to the most form uh, here that I have, uh, a DNR A1 is that um, you can intubate the patient. Uh, comprehensive efforts may include intubation and artificial ventilation. DNR uh, A2 is do not intubate, uh, but you can use what's called non-invasive ventilation, uh, otherwise known as what BiPAP or a mask that uh, kind of shoves air in uh, or something in your nose uh, called high flow nasal cannula. Uh, so you can use that. Um, then there's DNR B, which is basically, um, uh, you know, I don't want anything except for palliative or comfort care. Uh, so those are basically three levels that we see in Maryland. Uh, now, on top of that, you can also go through a checklist of, uh, I don't want blood transfusions, uh, I don't want, um, or I do want uh, antibiotics, uh, I don't want dialysis, I don't want, um, or do want certain blood tests, um, you know, certain artificial nutrition, for example, um, a nasal gastric tube uh, or an oral gastric tube. Um, and I don't want uh, certain types of nutrition in, in non-denominational um, uh, hospitals, uh, what they call um, uh, internal feeding uh, is, uh, can be withheld uh, if, if that's your choice. I hope this answers some of the questions you may have regarding do not resuscitate. Uh, let me know in the comment section what other questions you have about this or any other medical procedure topic. Uh, remember, if you're looking for more content like this, follow us at one of our social media links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.